this is a this is a case of a ranch dog getting its nose where it shouldn't. It got it cut on probably some wire or a sheet of uh, tin, and it's ragged, and we have to sew it up because it took a little bit of its nose off. The last surgery I did was an entropian where I fixed the eye. It's plastic surgery. Now this dog, we don't want him to go around with a cruddy looking nose. What would the neighbors think? Here's the cut. It's a nasty cut. Here's the two nostrils. And actually this whole skin should be way up like this. That's where it should go. So I'm going to have to cut away some of that tissue and make it look pretty again. Looks like a, kind of looks like a cauliflower right now, but it should, all that pink should be gone and it should be up like that. Let's see what we get. Okay. So what I've done is we have to cut the tissue so it bleeds again just like new like it just got cut so I'm cutting along the skin edge and making it really pretty and straight and it's called debriding it's tough tissue so the nose is but we got that that line pretty well cut okay that's good debriding again is taking the ragged tissue and cutting it off but we don't want to cut too much because then we have to then we have to pull it together we need tissue to pull it together so this is just swollen tissue get rid of that and want to make all this tissue nice and fresh again and straight we've got to take an old wound like this and make it nice and it looks bloody now but that's good because we need it to look bloody we need it to look like it just got cut It'll heal faster. So we get all the old dirty tissue out of it. Okay, that's good. So on this uh, nose, now we want to, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. I trimmed all the bad uh, tissue away and now we got to make it fit. So I got to figure out where it's supposed to go. So I'm going to go right up near the nostril, push that through, figure out where that piece should be. Where is that piece? Where should it be? I think it should be right there. So we're going to push that through, and then we're going to look at it and go, yeah, that looks about right. Maybe down a little more. We don't want the friends to get all excited. And so, see, that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to, so it's not like, it's a little bit of uh, artwork sometimes. It's kind of fun. It, I want to turn a Picasso into a normal living, breathing thing. Right now it's eyeballs in a different place, or it's noses in a different place. So actually once you get this set, then it starts to look better. Except for this nostril, so a little pinch, but you know, you can't have everything. It's going to have to stop the modeling job. Yeah. So, so we have half done, and now we're going to do this side and see if we can continue closing up. I don't, I usually put in wounds, I put skin, uh, sutures under the skin, but the nose is so tough, uh, it's hard to get a sub-Q stitch deep enough to where it doesn't get in the way, so I just use skin sutures. Just like I said with the entropion, though, this dog has to not paw these out. So here it comes through the edge, through the edge there. And this is tough skin, you couldn't, you can't pull this suture out, I'll show you. Look how tough it is. I mean, I don't want to gross you out, but that thing's in there. I mean, people think skin's so, skin is so, uh, will just tear, but in this dog, you'd have to really pull, and I don't want to do that. So we're just, we're just not pulling too tight. We're just getting the tissues together. And thanks to Rob that is filming this. He's, uh, a, he's in veterinary technician school. It, What's your school, Rob? Carrington Career College. Carrington Career College. So to any of you Carrington students out there, Rob is living the dream. We are wrist deep in blood, people. Yeah, we are wrist deep in blood. I have him in blood every day. So if you don't like blood or diarrhea, or then maybe and if you're looking at these videos, this is what we do every day. So if you want to be a vet, this is what your job will be. Or a vet student. So now I'm going under the nose. Um, and I have to go under the nose in there because we don't want to sew the nose shut. We can't sew that to that. Then we'd look like that. And that would be bad. 
So, so now I'm getting the nostril out of the way, and I'm going to try to get down here and uh, get this sewed up. So I'm going into the cut inside the no nostril and down below. So now I'm going to finish it up by going inside the nostril and outside the... And see how tough that is to get through? That's dog's nostrils, dog's skin in this area is tough. So I'm going to finish this up by just closing that like that. So now we have this will now heal up pretty good. There's the air hole that goes in the nostril. You can let that go, Michael. So just to show you, um, dogs knows that that's the nostril and that's the air hole. It goes in like that. Uh, this is the side, the slits that dogs use. When they smell on the ground, they exhale and they can close the front and they can shoot the air out the side so that they don't disturb the scent. Isn't that a neat adaptation? I just learned about that the other day. I never heard that either. That's pretty no, cool. Isn't that cool? So a dog breathes in the scent and then when it breathes out, it can close the nostril and open the side and shoot it out that way so it doesn't disturb the scent. So now we're going to close this up. So now we can see, you can't hardly see the wound, and as long as this dog leaves this alone, it should heal up just perfect. And there you have Dr. Martinez's nose job.